Hi, my name is Dr. Viral Desai. I am a board certified cosmetic and plastic surgeon and hair transplant surgeon. I have over 21 years of experience in this field. We have been treating a lot of patients for hair loss and also doing a lot of hair transplants across the country and in many places. I am basically located in Mumbai and Pune, but I have many other places where we perform these procedures all across the country. Hair has been very important for me and especially treating hair loss and hair transplants. The regenerative hair loss or regeneration, what we call as, is the most growing field when it comes to hair loss. Okay, Before the hair loss actually occurs, becomes severe and a patient loses the root completely and needs a transplant on a new root, you can preserve these roots, save them and regenerate them. So if the hair is thinning or the stem cells are getting weak or the cellular functions are deteriorating, and this is the stage where regenerative medicine comes into play and you can stimulate these roots and get better results and you can prevent them from falling at early stages. So catch them young, catch them early and rather prevent a hair transplant rather than waiting for the roots to fall and then doing a transplant. PRP and GFC are two very important things which are helping in this regenerative medicine. PRP is older than GFC. GFC is something new. They are pretty similar. And I'm going to try to briefly explain the differences between the two and which is better and why. PRP is there since many years. In our clinic, we've been doing it for more than 14 to 15 years. So basically what we do is we draw the blood, collect the blood in the specialized chamber, centrifuge it, separate off the platelets, concentrated platelets from the rest of the components of the blood. Something like this. So we actually discard off the red cells, white cells, serum, plasma. Take only the concentrated platelets. Okay. Only the concentrated platelets. These platelets are then taken and injected into the scalp or use a derma pen and they're rolled into the scalp through micro channels. What do these platelets do? They go in place and they release growth factors. Vascular growth factors, platelet derived growth factors. T cell, macrophagic growth factors, etc. What do these growth factors do? They go and attach themselves to the stem cells and they increase the cellular mechanism of the stem cells. So they basically go and stimulate these stem cells. Once the stem cells are stimulated, then they will help in better functioning of the cell and regeneration or growth of the new hair follicle. So not only they help in growth of the new hair follicle, they also increase the blood supply to the scalp. They also increase oxygen uptake and vitamins and minerals uptake by the roots. They also help to flush out impurities in a better manner. So it works in many, many multiple ways. In some cases, it also gives anti-inflammatory effect and increases the strength and immunity of the hair follicles so that they don't fall so easily or they're not affected by factors which make them fall. And in some cases, Rarely they have some anti-androgen effect. So this is what PRP is. Basically high concentration of activated platelets which give, give growth factors to stimulate the stem cells. Now what is growth factor concentrate? So somebody thought let's remove the platelets from it. Let's actually break them down outside and remove growth factors directly and then inject them into the scalp so we don't have platelets anymore. Okay. So are growth factor GFC superior to PRP? No, not really. In some cases, it can be inferior to PRP, but definitely not superior. When you take blood and when you centrifuge this blood and remove platelets, the concentration of the platelets in the solution that you get should be at least four to five times over the concentration which is present in the blood. If it is only two times of the blood, then you don't get enough uh, results or good results that you should see with PRP. If you get a concentration more than four to five times, then you get highly concentrated uh, platelets releasing these growth factors. For how long do they release these growth factors? They start releasing it within a day or two, but they continue releasing it for three to six months. So initially when you're treating hair loss acute in acute or initial phase, you need to do three to four sessions at one month interval to stimulate the stem cells enough to give provide a lot of growth factors. Then you go into maintenance phase where you do this process two or three times in the entire year. So as the effect fades in three to six months, you do another session. 
So you need it twice or thrice in a year in order to continue the effect of PRP in the long run. Now, GFC is similar, the duration is similar, the dosage is similar. Why I say GFC can be inferior to PRP? Because when you do growth factor concentrate, you just take the blood and centrifuge it and get like so much of GFC. That is, if you take 10 ml of blood, you get 4 or 5 ml of GFC. So logically, by mathematical calculations, the concentration can only be up to 2 times or 2.5 times. Like I said, these concentration may not be adequately enough in order to get as many growth factors as what a concentrated PRP can give you. So if you use inferior kits or inferior techniques or improper techniques where you do not get a good concentration of platelets, okay, so you don't get enough growth factors, in that case, GFC is a good alternative where you directly take the growth factor concentrate. But if you use good kits, FDA approved or CE, which is European Union approved, which gives you four to five times concentration of platelet from blood levels, then PRP is definitely superior because it will give you far more growth factors for a longer period as compared to GFC. So if you're not too sure of the technique that you follow or you're using very cheap or inferior methods, then GFC is better. But if you do it in the right manner, PRP is definitely going to give you better and more sustainable results in the long run. Now, since this is your own blood, there is nothing artificial involved. It cannot cause any kind of allergies or side effects at all because it is your own product. Your own product cannot give you allergies. We don't mix any other chemicals or anything else in it. Okay, the best way to give it is inject it close to the hair follicle. That is at the depth of around 2 to 3 millimeters so that the platelet that the growth factors directly go and attach to the stem cells at a high concentration and promote growth. This can often be mixed with exosomes or with mesotherapy in order to provide more regeneration and also to provide more nutrition and nourishment to the hair follicles. So whether you use PRP or GFC, use it in good early cases of hair loss and use it in post hair transplant to preserve the existing hair and to make the transplanted hair grow faster. I hope I've cleared all your myths about PRP and GFC. So to see more videos like this, to educate yourself better, please like, comment and share our video and please follow our channels so that you can educate yourself and others around you in a proper manner. Thank you.